Well, hello everybody. This is another again. We're doing another podcast. This is going to be short and sweet. It's not going to be a long song and dance uh, kind of podcast. I don't make my podcast long as about one minute or two minutes. Uh, so other people do a long podcast. I'm not doing a long podcast. Uh, so it's about two minutes to a few minutes. So the topic I want to run by, uh, people always ask me what topic you want to run by. Well, today I want to talk about the impeachments. Uh, this is an ongoing thing. This is not the first time they've done this. This is the second time the impeachment. Last time was a long song and dance. It went for weeks and weeks. <laughs> it, I, I'm not going to explain to you the first one. Uh, it got, it, the word they would use is dragged on, dragged on. Uh, it, it's like in the mud. You know, if you're playing in the mud, it's like that. Uh, until they come up with some idea that uh, Donald Trump is impeached, essentially. Uh, so they have the arguments, they do it weeks and weeks and weeks until they, uh, until they get something on them, kind of thing, you know. <laughs> Go look up impeachment, folks. Go look at uh, the word impeachment, uh, what it says under that. Um, uh, they have, uh, Donald Trump's got to cr- uh, do crime and misdemeanors. And a whole bunch of things before you can get go out of office, you know, literally. I mean. uh, so, and uh, this is the second time, it's not the first time they did impeachments. Bear that in mind. Uh, I'm just hoping this is my uh, observation, as they would say on TV and radio stations. My observation would be, uh, I hope it's not long weeks uh, dragged out uh, like they did the last time. It was boring. The last time we. Everybody was watching, everybody thought it was boring, they dragged it out weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, you know what I mean. Uh, it was boring. I mean, every week was just uh, impeachments, impeachments, impeachments. Uh, I mean, they, they really did it to the hilt. Uh, so, they dragged it on, they did arguments, they uh, really tried to bend, but they didn't win. They lost completely. Uh, th- they got defeated. The word they would use is got defeated. Uh, is, I'm just saying it in a nice way. They got defeated. Uh, they said whatever they need to say in their arguments, right? And uh, this got defeated. Uh, Donald Trump got victory. Uh, but this time around, I hope it's short and sweet, like a week or two weeks, and that's it. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll get a better result this time around. Remember, Donald Trump has left the, uh, the White House, the so-called White House, uh, as everybody claims that it is, over all the office, whatever it is. There's going, what the name they're going to go by these days. Um, but yeah, he's gone uh, before the impeachments were to start. Uh, so here we are. Uh, Joe Biden is the president, current the president of the United States until the year 2024. Mark it on your calendar to 2024. I hope everybody will be around before then. That's in the year 2024. Um, give it four years. We'll see what happens. Uh, unless, uh, unless, uh, Joe Biden does the uh, same thing like Donald Trump did. Uh, but we don't know. We don't know. I, I was thinking the other day, this is my observation, uh, I was saying to myself that Donald Trump was more interesting than Joe Biden. At the moment, it seems like that. After impeachments, it, it just seems like that. Uh, it's gone to, uh, boring sea, as they say. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, it's, uh, you know, don't, uh, Joe Biden is kind of bored. He's kind of old and frail. He's not going to do much in the, uh, in the Capitol Hill, you know. I, uh, my thought, uh, my thought a few weeks ago said, uh, we'll give him a, a year, but no, no, he's old. He's 78 years old, folks. He's not like a, a young guy in for, this so-called 40 age guys. Uh, you know, they would have a lot of ideas, a lot of stigma. Uh, but remember, Joe Biden is 78 years old. There's not much he's going to do in four years. So the best way that the Senate can do it is do impeachments while this, uh, while Joe Biden's in, uh, you know, in the White House till that four years is up. Uh, so I hope it's not uh, dragged out. And um, I want to give up to C-SPAN, uh, the morning shows and the afternoon shows. Uh, the morning shows their Washington Post, I think, well, I forget their show, but they have a call-in show where people call up and they say what they need to say. Uh, they run topics about the Senate to Donald Trump to, uh, and what are your public opinion? They always say public opinion. Uh, and these are live callers. They are not fake callers. They don't pipe it up to, uh, you know, they don't record them later and then have them aired later. Uh, 
So, yeah. So, there you go. These are live callers who... Uh, just a general opinion, general sentiment. Uh, so, you can imagine, these are real American people that call up the shows, give their opinion. They have a topic, they have a question or an answer. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this is a piece we're watching we're in the back when we're not watching CNN. You know, that CNN station everybody appreciates. Uh, it's not Fox News. That's their anchors they have on their both TV stations. Uh, uh, you got Wolf Blitzer, as I kept mentioning, uh, on CNN. He goes to 5 to 6 o'clock at night. Um, he does those 5 to 6 o'clock slots on CNN with Jake Trapper. You know those guys. Those are TV anchors. They're at the station. They're not somewhere on location. So, so there you go, there you go. Uh, I know CM very well because, you know, they're known around the world, not just locally. Uh, so, uh, or Fox News, they're local kind of people. Uh, CNN's got two stations. One's the, uh, the normal station, one's the international station. International goes nationwide, not just locally. So, so this is impeachment articles. We're going to, um, Watch this very closely enough uh, for the next few weeks or so. And I hope you guys will get a public opinion. Now, remember, this is going to be uh, great uh, due to the fact that the second impeachment, not the first one. The first one was dragged out uh, weeks and weeks on. And uh, it, was like, it was like ostrich uh, kind of going on the ground. Uh, you know, they don't want to see, they don't want to hear. It's, it, it, they gurgitate all the whole things. Uh, so, I just hope this time around, it's not going to be like that this time around. Uh, impeachment. So, what they're going to do is drag out the impeachments until four years. Maybe that's going to happen. Uh, so, anyway, anyway, I'm here right now. I, I'm glad that you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, as YouTubers would say. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that like button. That's right. Hit those like buttons. I'm not just saying you hear YouTubers saying that. Uh, and share, share the videos. Share the videos. People say just share the videos. Uh, there's no links, there's no links, you know, people say, well, where's the links? Well, there's no links. To share the videos, uh, where, the, where they say on YouTube videos, and you guys will do the rest. Share those videos, and get them out there, and we want, we want viral videos. We want viral videos, if you know what I mean. Uh, we want to get that thousand views, thousand views and thousand subscribers out there. Uh, they get 1.K views. We want those 1.K views out there, uh, to, to break evening. Uh, to break even in these videos. Uh, so share those videos. And the more the more shares you get, the more likes you get. Uh, that's the principle of YouTube. Uh, these are so-called YouTubers. Uh, so they're they're far and wide. They have uh, their YouTube channels and uh, a lot of subscriber base. They're based on subscriber base, and they're not only uh, they're not pay only subscribers. Uh, you can uh, you can watch their videos for free. That's for free. Remember the word is free. Uh, for free. They don't get paid for putting their videos up there, their production videos up there. Only the ads, as I keep saying. The, only the ads, the YouTubers get paid. If there's merchandise going on, yes, like an ad commercial uh, merchandise going on, yes, they do get paid. Uh, so these are ads in the middle of your videos. You can have them before the videos or after the videos. And, uh, and, uh, just remember, they don't, the, the creators, so-called creators on YouTube, uh, as they're deemed as, uh, they create their own videos, and they don't get paid for their own videos that they put up. Because they put a lot of production, you know, they put a lot of production in their camera stuff, but they don't get paid. The only way they get paid is through their ads. That's the only way they get paid, is uh, they get monetized. The word they would use, monetizing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, YouTube videos get monetized, and uh, not a lot of people do like that. They get monetized, and heavily. Uh, so, and uh, sometimes you can, you can put your own ads at the beginning or end of the videos. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Um, but today we're talking about impeachment from the Senate. So it's up to the Senate. Hear me in, everybody. It's up to the Senate to uh, really run for this, uh, really do what they need to do with the impeachments. These are articles, these are like, yay thick. Uh, so, 
This is very good. This is very interesting. We're going to watch with interest, okay? Uh, since we got Joe Biden, I'm very worried about Joe Biden. He's not very interesting because he's, remember, he's 78 years old, folks. He's just not the 40, so-called 40-some, how do you say 40? The guys out there uh, running for the, you know, White House kind of thing. Uh, I, I could you imagine if a young guy were to run for the White House? That would, that would, I would be laughing about it so much. Uh, I'll, I'll be saying to people, are you kidding me, kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway, no, we have a 78-year-old Joe Biden. He was young once, bear that in mind, he was young once, but here he is 78 years later. And he got in, and um, I wish there were young people in the White House. Could you imagine a young guy, 40-something guy in the White House being commander-in-chief? Could you imagine? Just think that for a sec. Yeah, he would have a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas to run the country. Yeah, you know, as kids would grow up in the schools and school systems, uh, they dreamed of doing this, you know. I'm not kidding. Yeah. When you run for office, tell your kids out there, run for office, run for the White House. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you could, as I, I, my friend says, you can dream the ultimate dream and make it happen kind of thing. Uh, dream big, my friend. Uh, and make it happen. So, like I said, uh, everybody has a dream, and you gotta make it. You gotta make it possible out there. The only way, the only way you can make it possible is uh, really dream the ultimate dream. Uh, I always tell kids, dream the ultimate dream. It might happen. It might uh, be there when you need it. Like, uh, uh, you know, if you want to dream, if you, uh, if I'll give you an example, if you want to run for uh, the White House and you're a forty-something person. Yeah, you could do this. You could do this. Uh, you have to be uh, you have to be 18 to do this. Uh, so yeah, anybody could do this, but you have to wait four more years after Joe Biden's left. You can do this. So we want a, next four years. We'll have to vote on a young person for the next White House uh, uh, so-called Commander in Chief, as they call it. Uh, and CNN and Fox News always says it's Commander in Chief. Got the uh, you know. Uh, they have their anchors on there, and they talk it to death. They really do. Uh, everybody likes the people on CNN and Fox News. I'm so grateful that we had those kind of people there. Uh, uh, we have Wolpitzer. Wolpitzer, he's this younger, older guy. He's, he's kind of like a geezer kind of thing. <laughs> Never mind. But he's, he's pretty good. I, I sort of like it. And Jake Trapper, he's pretty good. Um, he's been there for, I don't know how long, but, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. But he seems to, he's, he seems to know what he's doing at CNN. These are anchors, mind you, these are on-air anchors, so-called on-air anchors, uh, at a TV station. Uh, so, they get paid lots of money. They're not just there looking pretty, you know. You know. So, there you go, folks. Uh, I want to iterate something here. I want to get off that, and I want to talk to you guys about the Senate. The Senate is doing what it needs to do for the impeachment. So it's, uh, so I'm going to say this. It's up to the Senate to do what they need to do to impeach uh, Donald Trump, if it's possible. So they got to do whatever they need to do and run with it. So, I, by the way, by the way, I just wanted to say to you guys, I appreciate it. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know the deal as YouTubers would say. And share my videos. Oh. I'm going to say really loud, share those videos. I'll be right back after this commercial break. Don't touch that.